Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Today I got a really quick video for you. It's going to be how to time warp and pitch correct samples with each other. So you can put one sample that is like, for example, right here, this sample is at 120 BPM G minor. This other one is 160 BPM E minor. When I play it, it sounds like poo poo, okay? But there's some cool stuff that you can do, all right? First things first is we're going to time warp this this sample to get it in 120 BPM with this one. To do this, you need to be in FL Studio 20.7.2 because uh, it is using a new feature they added with their new time. So to do this, you need to right-click the, sam the sample you want to time stretch, hit time warp sample, you need to know the BPM of the original sample. It says it right here, thanks to Cymatics. They put all that shit in there. So it's a 160. So I'm going to go in here, and this says 160.36. I right-clicked this tempo thing to be able to get into this little dialog box. All right, so I'm going to delete the 0.36 and just make it exactly 160. Hit Accept, and then I'm going to hit Sync right here. Okay, once I hit Sync, I'm going to drag and drop the file into the playlist by clicking and holding this. Boom, just like that. Now we can get rid of that other sample. Okay, so this is in the correct tempo, but now we need it to be pitch corrected, all right? Bunch of different ways you can do this, but let's just do a simple way. We'll double click it and use the pitcher in the time stretching tab here. But we need to know a little bit about music theory. Nothing crazy. All you need to know is, here, let's open up a piano roll. Look at this. You see here C5 and C6. There's 1,200 cents. You need to know cents because the pitch is in cents. When I move this around, up here at the top left, it shows what pitch cent I'm at. Cents are just uh, another term for, like, notes, almost. There's 1,200 cents um, in a octave. So it starts with C, 100. Then it just goes directly up. So 100, 200, 300, 400. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 1200. Then it starts over. So you need to know this. Why? Because we want to get this, this sample is an E, but we want to get it to G minor. Um, or we could even do it vice versa. If we want the, uh, the beat to be an E minor, we can move this piano sample to E minor, but we're going to do it into G minor. So I know it gets a little confusing if you're, you're a beginner at this, but it will make sense. So we want to bring this sample that's in E. E is right here. And this this octave, E is right there. Okay, we want to bring that sample to G, which is right there in that same octave or right there in the lower octave, okay? So to do this, we just have to count up or down depending where we want it. So if we want the sample to sound a little bit higher, we'll go up the octave. If we want it to sound a little bit lower, we go down. So. Since it's in E minor, that's right here. I want to bring it to G. If we're going up, that's only 100, 200, 300 cents. So I would just come into here of that sample, double click it, and bring the pitch up to 300. You can see up in the top left when you're there. Okay, 300 cents. Now let's hear it. Okay, so it sounds good. That's because it's correct with each other. Now let's let's re reset this, and we maybe we want to bring it down the octave. So okay, so we go in the piano roll. We want to bring it down now. So here's the E right here. To go down, we just count down. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 cents to get to that lower octave G. So we go in here and pitch it down 900 cents. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm going to make a beat with this and then have it play at the end. But that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. It really supports the channel. I appreciate that, guys. But yeah, until next time, make sure you stay striving and always getting it with your craft. Much love, y'all. Peace.